we use the analytic tool throughout the entire organization. All of our departments have uh, departmental dashboards. All of our chiefs use that as a fundamental way of being able to understand their service line. We look at it at the highest level. We also look at it for financials as well. But there's not one area in our organization that doesn't use the analytics tool. We used some data sets through BCA and some through patient registries in the outpatient setting to find who are my hospital discharges. Can I, can I preemptively call them? Can I schedule them within a window to get them into the clinic, not waiting on them to call? So it's more of this proactive approach to their care than a reactive approach. The analytics tool has been enormous in, in transforming how we do what we do. I think, you know, we go into it providing care to patients, but unless we understand how we do it, what the results are of it, we can't improve. So I think what it's done is it's shed some light on how we provide care and how well or unwell we provide that care and look for opportunities to improve. It's opened up windows for us to be able to look at key metrics and dashboards and be able to judge how we do things. And by looking at that, we can then turn around and say, here's an opportunity for improvement. The current project I'm working with with BCAs is looking at our staffing ratios. So am I appropriately staffed for the number of patients on the hospitalist side that are coming in? With BCA, I can look at when the admissions are coming in, what time is it? Is it a specific time of the day that the staff is getting overwhelmed and, and trend that data? It makes it easier to present the data and implement change to the entire group where somebody else might say that, oh, that's anecdotal. It doesn't always happen that way. I, I can actually demonstrate that this is what we're seeing. Is this true from your perspective? And are we willing to make a change to sort of make everybody's lives easier?